I'm just trying to basically um, set him up, put my jab out there and set him up and try to cut him off. You see I'm cutting him off pretty well though. Slipping punches. The jab never kept you off. No, but it was a penetrating jab. It was very hard. It hit me in the head a couple of times, and I felt the power of it. And I was just trying to uh, be elusive enough and move. I had, I had pretty good anticipation, so I moved just enough time, and the punch doesn't miss me by much. I just, by a tenth of a second, the punch goes over my head before I be in position to punch. And if it missed me from so far, I wouldn't be able to punch, like right there. But I'm, I'm punching pretty hard these days. I punch harder than I did when I was younger. Uh, are you satisfied? With, you're, not, you're not crouching as much as you did when you were very young. You're crouching, Bob and Weave. You're coming in pretty straight up here. But I'm looking. I'm crouching, but I'm I'm, I'm a tested look. Now, now you are. Like, you see the guys behind me being biased over here. You know what I mean? Let us handle our business. <laughs> go ahead. Go. They love me. Yeah. And I'm just looking to set the punch up, set the punch up. And he's jabbing and moving pretty well. And I, I needed that in my life. I needed someone to move because most fighters are fighting that way. But he was fighting as he was moving. He was throwing hard punches. Now, did you think that punch was going to knock him down? Yeah. It was a hard punch. Yeah. And I, ha I kind of hit him with my elbow as well. <laughs> yeah. It was a strange punch, but he did go down flat. I mean, he just flat. Now, he got up. He wasn't in the greatest shape. Did you, did you sense you could just finish this? Oh, well, you know, that's my, my, my um, M.O. Once I get the man hurt, everything's as worth as abandon. That was just one left hook. Well, crazy it all off. He got up in his face. Now, watch what he does. Yeah, that silliness of, of the crowd is hollering. Fix it. Guy gets hammered twice, hey. almost under the canvas. They think it's a fix. Yeah, right. It's the same thing that happens anytime. It happened to Joe Lewis. It happened to anybody who knocks out people in one round. That's tough luck. They don't like it. That's the way that is. Listen, you're on your way to ring immortality. I know I said before the pressure you put on yourself is worse than anybody else because you want to be an immortal. And I think you're on the way. Holyfield stands in your way. That's got to be a nice fight. I look forward to it. Praise be to Allah. I'm going to do well. And I don't think there'll be no problem. Holyfield's in for a lot of trouble. Thank you very much. It's always good. Now, to Jim. You know, I came in to fight. I'm in great shape. You know, I, like I said earlier, I wasn't intimidated by Mike Tyson at all. You know, I, I see, you see, I came out to fight. I came out here to win. But um, well, there were those who would question that. This whole this whole audience is hollering, fix and so forth. It didn't look as though you were that badly hurt, Bruce. Well, I was hurt. You know, Mike Tyson. I didn't realize how hard the guy could hit and how fast he was. You know, and um, you know, I trained with great guys. It got me in tremendous shape for this fight. But Mike Tyson is a very fast type of guy you know they've been saying how Mike Tyson he's a he's a he's a destroyer and um I'm a witness to that you know what I'm saying he's a very fast very hard powerful guy you know um you know I know I've said in throughout the press conference and all that that I wasn't going to be intimidated by him I wasn't going to perform like like his other uh, uh, opponents and whatnot I didn't choke up as you see I, I did not choke up but it you was, seem all right now. You were just knocked out just a few minutes ago. Technical knockout. You seem all right. I just couldn't see my vision. When he dropped me the second time, the first time he hit me, he just grazed me on the top of my head. But he had a little elbow that came behind it, and that's what kind of did me in for the first knockdown. And the second knockdown, he caught me so flush on the chin that um, it just, like, rattled my eyes, and I couldn't see clearly. So, you know, you know there's nothing I can say. You know, I worked very hard to get to this point. I've been a professional fighter for 10 years. I won the heavyweight title. I went up against the, the, the man who's considered the baddest man on the planet. I think that stands up. That says a lot for my accomplishment. How do you feel right now, though, Bruce? All of these fans and the audience out there hollering, well, fix, am, fix, fix. Well, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't pay attention to what the audience say, but how... Well, that would be a concern if you, if you took a dive. That would be the next, well, the next I, question. I'm, I'm definitely not going to take a dive. I was coming in, like, like I said, I won the heavyweight title, and I wanted to hold on to that crown. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I treasured that crown. I still have the belt, but I don't have the title any longer. So, you know, that, that meant a lot to me. And it wasn't a fixed fight. You know, I didn't, I didn't train 12 weeks. You know, I didn't train 12 weeks to come in here and take a dive. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't coming here to take a dive. Yet you're aware, and people will say that with a $5 million payday. Yeah, people will say that, you know. But, but also, you know, before tonight, I'm already a millionaire. So it's not the money that meant anything to me. You know, it's definitely not the money that meant anything to me. I'm already a millionaire. So, you know, I just... 
Bruce, how about not fighting in a year? Did that contribute to any of this, and should you have fought? Maybe, you know, I felt as though it didn't have anything to do with it, you know, but um, maybe it did have something to do with it. I feel very hurt, you know what I'm saying? I feel very bad. You know, I know that there's a lot of people out there that we see Mike Tyson leave the ring, continue. Yeah, you know, I know that there's a lot of people out there that were counting on me and that were saying that I'm, I'm, I'm the best and I was going to do this and I was going to do that. And I let a lot of people down. But all I can say is, you know, I'm sorry. You know, um, I hope those people who were with me in the beginning and, and will still be with me now today, you know, and, and, and I'm sorry that I, you know, I let a, a lot of people down, but I tried my best. And I hope that that's all people were asking of me was for me to get in there and try my best. I tried my best. Mike Tyson is a very great fighter, which everyone knows. And